You're gonna talk to me and ask me questions, right? Yes, I'm gonna ask you questions. We're already started. No, don't, don't put this in the video. This is funny. This I is will Michelle. Die under a rock. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we have to introduce everyone to instructor Michelle, who came a very long way to the United States to become certified in MLB certification internationally and. Michelle, tell us your thoughts and your reason and your inspirations for wanting to be here from Dubai. Well, it's all started because I've always worked in a medical setting next to a doctor, side by side, mostly with chiropractors. And when I, I had about 10 to 12 years experience already in the States working as a massage therapist. So when I moved to the Middle East, they didn't understand what my massage was every massage was categorized as a spa massage and over there the we can say the ethics and standards aren't quite what we're used to in the medical world so when i noticed that there's no places for these people these athletes these uh day-to-day -day people who sit and drive all day they had nowhere really to go where they can get proper care i started to think and i started to excel my education so that i'm able to go over there and eventually start a school and make minions of excellent therapists to be able to service parts of the world that don't have access to this amazing healthcare. It was really amazing too, because your background was actually in Texas, which you know I have a great love and passion for. And you took all that um, education, the massage education and all the other um, asset pieces or accessory pieces and brought it there. And I was so surprised when you were telling me about the treatment that the people were having there. And do you wanna go into a little bit of detail? Well, we'll go with my favorite one. Anywhere I went in any massage setting, whether it was physio or it was just regular massage, the number one rule in massage, the most basic 101 massage is you always do the strokes towards the heart, the flow going back towards the heart. And these people will do a very soft touch going towards the heart and then they pull and drag all the blood towards the, wow. the distal extremities. And this is a big no-no. So if something so simple as the number one rule, the first thing you learn on the first day of starting techniques and effleurage and these things, is that if they can't do that, how are they working with people with diabetes? How are these centers uh, stretching and pulling older and elderly people without any medical history form of saying, maybe this person hasn't had a bone density test in a long time. They might have some osteoporosis going on and just pulling them in that direction and forcing a stretch can break someone's ribs or spine or, but people aren't going that medical route of it. They're kind of just like, let's get you feeling better, but they're not really using the medical route to find the root causes of a lot of these injuries and for this pain management. And they really didn't have the same um, standards of care. Not when it came to massage, because as I said, they're very, uh, they're, they're oblivious to the styles of massage that we and us medical massage therapists do today. Uh, for instance, I believe I'm the only registered medical massage therapist in Dubai. They have physiotherapists and there's even cases where I'm working with a physiotherapist and my knowledge of certain simple things, it's a little, it's, it's a little bit more advanced than theirs and I'm a massage therapist, not a physio. So this sent red flags up to me that we really uh, need to get better education because there's so many people, I mean, 99.9% .9 of the population can benefit and get better and healthier with making sure that people are well educated about what they're doing in these fields. Yeah, so Michelle is really raising the bar, working with the top notch people in Dubai and the surrounding countries, including some of the royal family and and a whole list of others and wonderful doctors. So she came and she is now a certified, certified instructor. I don't know that you, you can use two certifieds in a row, but she is certified in manual lymph drainage. 
but she is also certified as an instructor representing us out there for their people. You know, there's just so many people around the world and we can't get to them and they can't get to us, but like her, the MLD Institute International supports all their teachers and people who have a heart like Michelle to just want to get out there and help people and spread the word and educate them. So you're going to hear more from her and we're going to hear it from Dubai. So please hear um, more from Michelle and her friends from Dubai. We're just going to give you a little look um, around the campus here where we are today in St. Augustine, Florida. I'm sorry, I can't find an alligator for Michelle today, but <laughs> we're gonna try. If anyone has an alligator to share with Michelle that you've had, especially if you had that Florida experience, we appreciate it. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you for...